Hello again, let's play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I am Bruiser Bill in the land of Rocky Boy. Ah, plenty of zombies over there. Plenty of zombies. All right, let's do this. Come, come, my new training partners. We have much work to do. None of the zombies over here look too bad. I've got my Smith & Wesson just in case I need it. You learn what you can and stow the book for further study. Well, what could I, can I learn? I, I learned Tai Chi. Though Tai Chi is seen as a form of martial, uh, mental and physical exercise, it is a legitimate martial art. Focus on self-defense, its ability to absorb the force of an attack makes your perception decrease further damage on a block. Okay. Well, my perception isn't that great, so... But I didn't know you could learn fighting styles. So that's new to me. All right, let's learn judo. Judo. Offensive and defensive. Throws. While using judo, you will not lose lose any turns to being thrown or knocked down. Mm. That's kind of cool. That's uh, that that part's kind of cool the defensive bit. Okay, Aikido. This is giving us a lot of uh, options in uh, melee combat. Aikido focused on self-defense while minimizing inner injury to the attacker. It uses defensive throws and disarms. Damage done while this technique using this technique is halved, but pain inflicted doubled. Alrighty. So, I have gained a fair amount of melee skill, but it's taking a long time to get to the next level each time now. So anyways, 
Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I'll see you next time, everyone, in the next game. Good night, survivors. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. In the land of Rocky Boy, I'm Bruiser Bill, and I am now using the Chest Hole graphics pack rather than the Shock 32 graphics pack. And I chose this particular graphics pack instead of the one I was previously using because I realized it had some certain advantages. It shows you what sort of equipment you're wearing. It's actually a bit more detailed. Like, I think my character is wearing a helmet because my character is actually wearing a helmet or uh, the various clothing. So, for example, if I take off... Yeah, let's just say I take off the baseball helmet. Yep, now my character's wearing whatever he was wearing underneath the baseball helmet. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to get used to how everything looks. Everything looks all different. But ultimately, this graphics pack is more detailed. It gives you more information uh, available at a glance, which I like, ultimately. Oh, hello, zombie brutes. I didn't know you were going to get back to your feet like that. I, did, I forgot to butcher you. I seem to have forgotten how to butcher, or forgot that I didn't butcher you. Okay, hello, zombie brutes. Uh, I'm a bit worried about you. Okay, okay, I guess we're gonna have to punch. We're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to fisticuffs. He grabbed me. He's grabbing me. He's grabbing me. Okay, I'm grabbed. Which means fifth, minus 15 speed. And blocking is very difficult. Should I try to break the grab? I break the grab. My armor protects me. Dodge. Okay, I got you. You weren't so bad, actually. Did I get any melee skill from that? No, I didn't. But I'm gonna butcher that guy. To the liquor store. Where a Shangri-La of food and alcohol awaits. Fruit liquors. To your heart's content. It's triple sec. And lots and lots of meat jerky. I'm gonna be living off of alcohol and meat jerky for years to come. Uh, alcohol, meat jerky, and various drinks dispensed from drinks machines. It's a uh, it's a snack machine life for the for the survivor. Zombie survivors live a snack machine sort of existence. Wild apple, riesling rum. I gotta hit more of these places. If I keep hitting these places, we'll be set for life. There's too much here to possibly drink. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead in the land of Rocky Boy. I'm Bruiser Bill. Still. Uh, but we'll see how long, how much longer that persists if I, if I get a bit more aggressive, which is what I intend to do. So. Anyways, there has been a lot of new versions since I last played. There was a new version of the launcher itself, so that got updated as well. So this should be interesting, there should be some changes, and I have not actually read the change log too much, so I might be in for a few surprises, but that's okay, that's fine. Uh, anyways, like this, the use item screen seems a bit different, yes, I would say. Okay, yeah, that's some more like it. Skill and handguns increased to three. Cool. Are you attacking the dog? Don't attack the dog. I will save you, dog. As living, we must stick together. It's just a house. Paper walls. Okay, interesting. A house with paper walls. It's like a Japanese style. A rare, or a RA-21E medical ampule. Advanced fast healing chemicals that can only be activated in a RivTech jet injector device. Well, that's really cool if I can get a injector device. That sounds really cool. An active laser turret. I am glad it is inactive. So what is this guy, some sort of Japanese robot master? This is crazy. Okay. Laser turret is still inactive. He 
using this item involves turning it on and placing it on the ground, where it will attach itself. The turret will then identify you as a friendly and attack all enemies with its revolving laser cannons. It requires sunlight in order to fire. Oh, it, it's, 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 it becomes active? Well, I... Should we just set it up? Take it outside and set this sucker up? I mean, is that a bad idea? I, I don't know. I kind of like my other house, but this house could be cool, too. I don't feel like lugging a laser turret everywhere, so... Uh... Sure. Why? I thought it said if I set it on the ground, it would say I was a friendly. Didn't it say that if I activate this, it would say I was a friendly? I just got Bruiser Kibill killed because I thought I read a laser turret properly. Alright then. Yeah, I want to watch the last one of my life. Well, that was cool. I just got riddled. Riddled with laser bolts. Okay. Don't. Don't activate a laser turret. Oh well, I'm kind of glad I got Bruiser Bill killed because I wanted to move on to a new setup, but it's a shame after collecting all that alcohol. He had so much alcohol. Well, I might make an alcoholic. Uh, next time. Another alcoholic. Oh, okay, you're among the forgotten billions. Ouch. Ouchie. Okay, well, the, the, the world is still available. I could still make a new character in the same world and find Bruiser Bill's corpse and that laser turret that killed him. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave that world as it is. But that's a shame. Anyways, that's how the Cataclysm goes. I definitely learned something. Thanks for watching this episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I'm gonna try starting a new game in not too long, but I'm gonna take a small break first. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Good night.